On this part, you learn how to add the one-to-many relationship using the entity framework core. For that, you'll add the publisher model because, as we have said, the publisher can publish multiple books, but a book can be published by a single publisher. For that, you'll create a publisher model and define the relationship between the publisher model and the book model. Then next, you'll add a migration and also update the database. So, let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. In here, we are going to add a new model. So for that, let us go to the Solution Explorer. Then inside the Data folder, select the Models folder and right-click to add a new model. And we have said that models are just C-sharp classes. So for that, I'll just select the Class option. Provide a name. Let us name this model Publisher. And then click Add. Now. For the publisher model, we are going to define the properties which are going to serve as the table columns for the publisher table in the database. So for that, just prop and we need a primary key. So I'll just leave the type to integer and just type in here ID. And next, let us just define another property of type string and that is going to be name. So the publisher name. Now, these are all the properties that we are going to define for the publisher model because the focus is not on the publisher model. Now, down here, we are going to define the navigation properties. The navigation properties are just model properties that are used to define the relationship between models. So for that, I'll just type in here navigation properties. Now here, let us just type prop, then double tab. We have said that the publisher can publish multiple books. So the relationship is one to many. So list, then just in here, book, then change the property name to books. And that is all you need to do in the publisher model. But of course, you need to define the navigation properties for the book model as well. For that, just right click on the book, then go to definition, scroll down and after the date edit, I'll just type navigation properties. And then in here now we are going to define that a book can have a single publisher. For that you need to define a foreign key. So prop and double tap. I'll leave it as integer. And then type in here the publisher ID. Let us also add in here the prop and then publisher and then just in this property publisher. Now, Entity Framework Core knows that the publisher ID is the primary key on the publisher model and for the book model, it will be the foreign key. Now, let us save the changes and go to the Package Manager console and if you don't see the Package Manager console in here, you can just go to Tools, then Nougat Package Manager, Package Manager console. And in here, I'll just add a new migration, so add dash migration, I'll name this migration publisher edit, then press enter. So we can see that the migration was created because a class with the same name as the migration name was created and it inherits from the migration base class. Now, if you go to this file, you'll see that a new column will be added in the books table. The name will be publisher ID. Then down here, we have the creation of the publisher table. It has two columns. The first one is the ID, which is of type integer, and it also serves as the SQL server identity. Then next, you have the name column, which is of type string. Now, for the publisher, we see that the primary key is the ID column. If you scroll down to the create index method and the add foreign key, You'll see that for the table books, we have added a new column, publisher ID, and the publisher ID is the foreign key for the publisher table. And we can see that the publisher ID, which will serve as a foreign key in the book model, is a primary key or a principal column in the publisher table. Now, to change the database schema, you can just go to the package manager console and here just type update dash 
database. I need to also mention that I have cleaned up the books table because in the books table we have already some books and for these books we don't have a publisher ID. So the update database command will just fail. In that case, so if you want to keep the existing data, you can basically just go to the book model and set the publisher ID as optional. This way you will add the publisher ID column in the book table and the value of the publisher ID for the previous books will be just now. I'll just remove the question mark. So I decided to remove or clean up all the data from the books table because we have just started this app. So we don't really have much data. So let's just go to the package manager console, update database and press enter. So we see that the command ran successfully. Now let us go to the server explorer. In here, let us refresh the database tables. So just refresh. And we see that now we have the publisher table, which has two columns, the ID as the primary key and the column name. And in the books table, we now have the publisher ID column. Now, if you go to the entity migrations history, you can just right click and then show table data. You can see in here that now we have two migrations. The initial database migration was just used when we added the first migration and the publisher added is the migration that we just used.